Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Academy Lead English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, lately I have been getting a lot of questions uh, related to the read-eat from the students. And in this particular question, I'm going to address all of them one by one. The first question which I have been getting from majority of the students, what is that? Is, is re-neat possible? Is re-neat possible? Can neat examination happen this year again or not? My dear students, first of all, you need to understand the outcomes, the consequences of the re-neat examination. If neat examination is going to happen again, what will be the possible outcomes? What will be the possible consequences? First of all, my dear students, let me honestly tell you, if NEET examination is happening this year again, what will happen? The academic year of the MBBS first year MBBS students is going to change. But the question is, has it changed before? I would say yes, during the time of COVID, when the NEET examination got shifted from May to September, at that point of time, the academic year of the MBBS students, of that year MBBS students, that changed, right? So if re-need is happening, what will happen? Academic year of first year MBBS students is going to change and that has happened in the past. So nothing with that, right? That can happen. So the answer is, can re-need happen? Re-need can happen, okay? It is just the academic year is going to be changed, right? But that has happened in the past. So that can happen this, this year too. This was point number one. Point number two, the second and the frequently asked question which I have been getting from the students. What is that? Will NTA let re-neat? My dear students, if you talk about the harsh reality, NTA would never want re-neat to happen. Why is that? Because if re-neat is happening, that means all the blame is on NTA. Okay, that means NTA is taking the responsibility of all the discrepancies which have been happening in the, uh, in the NEET examination in the NEET 2024 examination. So NTA would never want to take this particular blame, right, on its shoulders. Perfect. Because if re-need happens, if NTA takes all the blame on itself, that means NTA will be completely abandoned from the NEET examination, right? That means NMC will have to hire some new agency to conduct the NEET examination hereafter, okay? So NTA, if, if I talk about the reality, NTA would never want the NEET examination to happen again this year, okay? Now, the third and the most important point. My dear students, if you ask me as a person whether re-need should happen or not, if you ask me as an educator whether re-need should happen or not, see, there should be few things which should be clarified. The most important thing which has to be clarified, what is that? As per NTA, almost 1,600 students were given the grace marks, right? As per NTA, almost 1,600 students were given the grace marks. What should happen, to be honest, NTA should declare all these 1,600 students. They should make a list of these 1,600 students to which grace marks was provided, right? Once public comes to know about these 1,600 students, right, to which grace marks were given, Okay, once we get their application numbers, once we, once we get the application numbers of all these 1600 students to which grace marks were provided, after that, after that, after checking these 1600 students, after having an eye on these 1600 students, after that, if some student comes up with some other discrepancies related to grace marks, apart from these 1600 students, then definitely, yes, re-need has to happen. Then re-need must happen for sure, right? But first of all, what NTA has to come up with? NTA has to come up with the list of the 1600 students to which these grace marks were provided. And once we have an eye on these 1600 students, after that, after that, if someone comes with some other discrepancy related to grace marks, then definitely yes, right? And my dear students, lately there are few more discrepancies which are uh, coming in front of us, right? A lot of students are making videos for that. One video which I made yesterday, what was that? That was related to a student, Ayushi Patel, right? Okay, it was her third attempt. She was scoring 715 marks as per the final answer key, right? But when she checked her result, the result was not visible to her. The reason being, uh, the reason being when, when, she, when she asked for it, why she cannot uh, see her results, okay? The reply that came from the NTA side, your paper was in torn condition, right? Your paper was in torn condition. My dear students, the question arises, the question arises, 
if it was her mistake, if during filling the OMR sheet, if he, she had torn the OMR, right, then the invigilator, right, the invigilator of that particular center would have never taken that OMR. That is point number one. Okay. Point number two. Point number two. My dear students, if they found out her OMR was in torn condition, okay, then she should have gotten the mail from NTA before the results itself, right? That you are scoring, no doubt, you are scoring 715, but your OMR is in torn condition. She should have been informed about that. Or the third possibility is they should have manually checked it. So that is one more discrepancy which is in front of us. The third discrepancy which I got to know about yesterday night itself, there is a student from Gujarat board, right? Uh, I don't know whether it is he or she, okay? That student, it had failed its 12th examination, okay? It had failed its 12th examination when it comes to PCB, Physics, Chemistry, Biology. And that student scoring 715 in the NEET examination, that again is giving us a clear picture of the discrepancies, okay? So if all these discrepancies, if, we, if all these discrepancies are clarified from NTA side, right? Then definitely there should be no re -need. But the discrepancies uh, which we, I mean the questions which we have been imposing to NTA related to these 1600 students, related to Ayushi Patel whose OMR was found in torn condition, related to that Gujarat student, right, uh, who could not crack class 12 boards and, and eventually got 715 in the NEET examination, right. If these questions were not answered satisfactorily, then definitely re -need must happen. Now if re -need is happening, when will it happen? When? In which month? My dear students, it's a tough job. It is not an impossible job, but it's a tough job to conduct the NEET examination again. So expect the NEET examination to happen after two months. It's, it's definitely going to take minimum two months uh, to start the process again, the application form, etc, 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 right? All those things, they have to be started again from the basics itself. So it is minimum going to take some two months to conduct the NEET, exam, NEET examination again if it is happening, right? So these were some of the questions which I was frequently getting from students and I believe uh, you would have gotten all the answers of all these questions which were imposed to me since yesterday by the students, right? So I believe I'm clear to you and I'll keep on coming up with these sort of videos which will keep you updated about the NEET examination, about the re -neat, about the discrepancies, etc, etc, right? So that it will be beneficial for all of you, right? So with this, I'll be taking a leave. God bless you all and take care. Bye-bye.